what we're going to do now is create something called a master page. This master page has a certain layout. From that layout, we can extract many other pages without having to recreate the design for every page. That's the way people work in, or designers work in Quark Express. Creating the master page, one or more, we're going to create actually two master pages. We can create a million and extract different pages from those master pages. And then after that, we're going to be creating a PDF from those pages. And um, one of the features of a PDF file is that you can first of all zoom in and zoom out. Let's go back to 100. It prints at very high quality. So the print is extremely high quality. It's book quality. It will never be low detail. Uh, another thing you can do is search for text in that. So if I press Control F here, I can look for, for example, the word page. If I press Enter, I'll be taken to the word that says page and so forth. Yeah, Control F is for search. So here I have a word that says five, let's say. I can look for five or whatever and I'll be directed to that word. So even though it's not selectable text, but it is searchable text and it prints at high quality, which means that if I set the magnification, say to 300%, I will always get a very high quality for my work. 500%. There you go. So, in case you are distributing to your clients documents, you distribute them as PDF. Yeah, you don't save as Quark and give them the Quark file because they might not know how to work with Quark. They don't have the program. You want to give them the product. Yeah. PDF is installed on most machines. So you give them the PDF file. And it's freely downloadable from the internet, the Acrobat Reader. Yeah, how to design the master pages, how to add automatic numbering for the pages, how to create pages from the master pages, and how to get the PDF from the work. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For, for example, for a magazine, I can create the cover to be a master page the index to be a master page, the articles to be a master page, and I can extract different pages from these master pages to create more articles, more indexes, and stuff like that. Um, okay, so um, what I'm going to do is open that file. To see what it looks like in Quark. All right, so there, um, if I look here, I have the pages, but if I look up here and double click, I have something called A Master A, which is my master page. And it's a facing page. So you have the left side and the right side. And here I have the first page. If I look here, that's the number of the page. A means that it's relating to the A master page. If I had another master page, it would probably go B. So if it says B here, it means that it's rating or extracted from the B master page and so forth. And these are the page numbers two and three. So anyway, I'm going to start from scratch. File new project. Here, I do need facing pages. I'm going to call my layout newsletter one. It's a print, let's say A4, it's portrait, facing pages. I don't need an automatic text box, I create my own. These are the margin guides, two centimeters from the top, four centimeters from the bottom, two left and right. Column guides is how many columns I need, but as a guide. So it's a blue line that tells me that you have a column here. I'm going to say two columns, I'm going to say two columns, and the gutter width is the distance between the columns. So you have a column and a column left and right, but you have a distance between them. That's the gutter width. I'm going to set it, say, to two centimeters, and I'll press OK. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, look here. No, they're not. That's a good question. This is the two centimeters, but that's the whole page. That's what's going to print the whole thing, the black border. But these margins help me because I'm not going to place anything here because I need to keep a white margin. If you look at the PDF, that's the margin from here and from there. All right, so if I look here, if I look here, it's less than two centimeters in my case. But if I look back here, it is two centimeters. If you want to change it, if you want to change it, yeah. You double click on the master page here and you choose page and master guides. So you double click on the master page and you choose page and master guide. And here you can change them back, say to one centimeter by two by one by one. So this is what you do. You change the master page and the rest will be will have the same changes apply. Very important. You have to double click here. You have to go to page layout, <coughs> open it, and double click on A master A. Or that's one way. Or click here down and choose A to get the master page. Down here. Okay, look here. Can you see that? Page. Click on the arrow. You can either select page one, which you have by default, or the master page. So that's another place to select it. It's easier, really, to double click here. A, master A, much easier. And then go to page, master guides, and change the values. All right. So where do I start my work? On the page one or on the master page? On the master page, I fix my design and then I go to the other one. So I have the left and the right pages. Because of course in a book or a magazine, give me the magazine, thank you. Here you have two pages, right? The cover, is which page? This one, the left or the right? For the cover, it's not this one, it's that one. So if I try and design here and look at page one, it will be empty. It won't have any design. Because page one, if you look here, it's to the right and not to the left. So let's, let's do that in practice and see how we can uh, fix things. I'm going to go to the left page because we have facing pages and just add something now without any design just to see what it gives. No, 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 Buffy, there's no back and forth. It's just left page, right page and you continue one after the other. All right, so here in the left page. Don't talk while I explain. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll answer you. All right, so when I take this, I'm going to give it a color, right? So that's the master page, the left master page. If I go to page one and I zoom out a little bit, control zero, I don't see anything. But if I right click on that page and choose insert page, one page after page one and press OK, the new one will have the rectangle. Why? Because it's on the left side. And remember that in my master, the left one did have the rectangle. So the page on the right doesn't have anything, but the page on the left does indeed have the style. So in my case here, I need to design both, unless I was creating single pages, not facing pages. So let's start by creating the design here, and then apply it to the second page and add some variations. So I will um, zoom over, control plus, 
go to my item tool and place it here and align it to the left to the right margin like this I want the height to be two centimeters so that there I have my perfect alignment but then I decide that I need to have some text here I created a picture box so I need this to be converted into a text box to add the text inside I don't delete it and start over what I do is right click on it and choose content and then choose text so now I can type for example design and then in use letter yesterday we talked about how to align vertically this to the center of the box we're gonna do this now right click and modify and text and vertical alignment I'll choose centered and apply and there it is aligned to the center and also I need the um, I'll press OK. I need the horizontal to be aligned to the center like this. But I need to make this bigger. So I'm going to choose, say, 40 or more. Let's say 46 points. Wait. You should follow me. Don't do it at the same time. Do not do it at the same time. What? Shift delay, don't do it at the same time. Yeah, then. All right. So, I need to change the font for design and the font for newsletter. So, I'll select the word design. I click. And I change into something that I like. Okay, I'm going to leave it like this here. And for newsletter... I'm gonna choose this all right I need the colors to be black and white so that's already black for newsletter I'll choose white I click here text color white how do I preview this without the guides F7. Bravo F7 that's what I have so far F7 again to continue my work so if I go back here I have this line thick line a monthly graphic design magazine so I go back to Quark here I need to drag down a guide to align this too because I need to align it on both pages but see what happens if I drag down a guide if I drag down a guide like this let's say put it if I look down here in the measurements I see where I'm dragging it to let's say 65 millimeters or 64 I dragged it but I didn't get a guide over there I don't want to go and drag another one what I will do I'll drag it out to remove it is drag a guide from outside the page and this will add it to both pages so if I go from here and stop say at um, whatever 64 it will be available on both pages so that way I can align on both pages Okay, so um, here I'm now going to gra uh, grab a line, horizontal line. I'll start here and finish there. So that's why I have the guide, because I can snap to it. The width, I'm going to set it to two points. F7 to see what it looks like. Let's compare it with the original. I think I chose three for the other one. Yeah. And now, F7 again. I'll create a text box that's going to say a monthly graphic design magazine. I think it's going to take some more space. Of course, you have to know how to type first. Monthly graphic design magazine. All right. Now, this time I'm going to align it to the right so go to right alignment I'm gonna make it bigger of course say um, 18 
and I'm going to make it bold. Now the font I'm going to choose for this is Trebuchet and S. It's a nice font and it looks professional. It doesn't look like it's overused. It's a nice font to use in print. And press F7 for this and there. I might lower it down a little bit. So I'll zoom over and let's see if it looks nice if it touched it like this. Actually, it's better if it was a bit higher up. All right, so that's it for this part of the page. F7. And I'll continue my work in the next video.